When thinking about including loyalty programs in your business, it can be useful to have a look at what others are already doing that works. There's never a better way to decide if something is good. So, let's explore a few businesses, what they've done and why it's worked for them. We're kicking off with American coffee company and coffee house, Starbucks. The My Starbucks Reward program offers customers stars by paying with their registered cards, participating in product promotions, and completing incentivized actions. Once stars are earned, they're stored in the customer's profile until redeemed for drinks, food items, and more. Customers are offered the chance to move from green to gold levels of the program once they earn a certain amount of stars, with each level offering more and more benefits. Customers earn stars for online and offline actions, like engaging with the brand's mobile app, buying coffee in stores, and engaging through social channels and public promotions. The loyalty program is focused around the customer, and each piece of the experience is easy for them to understand. So what's good about it? It rewards behaviour that drives business into the brand, through promotion and through purchase. It puts the customer in control of how much they're rewarded. It uses game-based theory to drive a competitive approach to moving up the reward ladder. It also puts the customer at the centre, facilitating things that they want. Knowing the business reward will come as a result. Our second loyalty program case study is Australian juice bar, Boost Juice. Boost Juice has the Vibe Reward Club. With your smartphone, you download their free app and have access to offers, competitions, the Boost menu, and store finder. Each time you buy a juice, you earn a point, and after 10, you get a free juice. A nice bonus is that you also get a free juice on your birthday. Who doesn't love a present? This loyalty program is personalized, creating the element of surprise and delight for the customer. So, what's good about Vibe? Well, it's tailored to their dominant younger market by focusing on social ways of connecting and tracking your points. It uses game-based theory to add points to your total. Some customers have thousands of points. It rewards customers, providing them the information they need to market more effectively. Want a free smoothie on your birthday? Well, we need your info to give it to you. What a good idea. Okay, on to the largest drug retail chain in the US, Walgreens. Walgreens is moving back to its health-focused beginnings. Part of their Health First initiative can be seen through their Balance Loyalty Program. Members can earn points by taking care of themselves through filling prescriptions, receiving immunizations, logging points for walking or for running, tracking weight loss, or participating in physical activities. Once points are earned, they can be redeemed in increments for in-store gift cards up to $50. Walgreens is inspiring their program members to invest in their well-being first. The Balanced Loyalty Program works because it puts customer care first. This proactive approach gives back to the brand by engaging at higher rates through changing customers' lives, one reward at a time. Lastly, let's look at global fashion retailer ASOS. ASOS takes digital retail and personalization to the next level when it comes to rewarding their loyal customers. Using Google Hangouts called Helpouts, they offer their customers the chance over live webcam to chat face-to-face -face with a stylist show items from their wardrobe, and discover new and different ways to wear them. This includes advice on what to wear to a special event. They make their customers feel like rock stars. ASOS is a great example of growing with the customer, becoming a part of their lives, which helps to build a community of fans.